Hi, this is Graham Helfrich, Technical Advisor Manager for the Engineering Software here at IHS Market. Welcome to the weekly Did You Know episode where we learn how to do something of value that you probably didn't know about your IHS Market engineering software. All forecasts will be wrong, eventually. The question is just when and by how much will the real well volumes either meet, beat, or miss the decline that we've assigned. One of the most time consuming tasks that engineers tell us they do, including the reserves team, is reviewing a well's actual performance against the forecast they've assigned. They have to review hundreds of wells to prepare for weekly well performance meetings to discuss wells that have departed from the forecast. Other people tell me that they have to review their declines or their forecasts as part of their reserves process every quarter. And that means cycling through over a thousand wells just to visualize and inspect if each well is still tracking their declines. Now sometimes Harmony is their decline tool or other times they're using a reserve software, something like Ares. Whether you're using Ares or Harmony to do your forecasting, I'm really excited to show you something that we've created that will make this entire forecast review process extremely convenient and fast. We call it monitoring. Now, just before I show you, I do want to make it clear that if you only have a few dozen wells, this monitoring solution isn't really going to make a big difference for your time. But if you do have many wells, or if you need to review your forecasts frequently, this new monitoring solution in Harmony is going to save you a lot of time. Uh, many companies use both Harmony, but they also use a reserve software like Ares. So Harmony is often used for quick and easy forecasting. And the reserve software, something like Ares, will be used to do the detailed economics. So in this case, let's assume that we want to monitor some decline work done in Ares. Now, if you've never imported your Ares work to Harmony before, all you do is go import, database connection. We'll go browse and find your Ares database. Now we actually have some pre-configured views and maps that will let you bring in your Aries either production history or in this case our declines. So this is some of the mapping that's pre-built for us to identify the well name. And we can even see a preview if you do have the option uh, to bring in the production history from Aries. And then these are the declines from Aries that we're going to bring into Harmony to do this monitoring work. Now to explain this case a little bit, these Aries declines were completed at the end of 2018. We see the decline here. The green triangle is when the decline was performed. And in reality, we actually have three more months of production history to update this project with. And we want to see how well the decline is tracking. So let's check it out. OK, in this case, it looks like our decline is really matching the actual wells performance well. So that's good. I don't have to change anything. Nothing to worry about. Let's look at another well. So I would say this Aries decline is matching our history pretty well. But what happens when we update the most uh, recent three months of production history? OK, this well looks like it started to overperform our forecast. OK, there, there's some cum here we have to worry about. And um, we have to account for this somehow and either make a new forecast or figure out why the well's not following our decline. Another well. Here we got our match on our decline. And then when we look at the more up-to-date data, this well is underperforming our forecast. And we have to uh, account for this cum somehow and figure out why this well is underperforming. So again, this is the problem in the industry is manually looking at these wells. And how do we find these discrepancies when we have hundreds or uh, over a thousand wells? Well, I'm going to show you that exactly right now. So first thing we're going to do is each one of these wells, again, has a decline. I don't want to manually look through them all, so I'm going to select them. And I'm going to go to this new monitoring feature over on the right. So in here, we'll select our Aries forecast that we imported. And the date we need to select here is, in my case, the most recent date of the production history. So my production history now goes up to the end of March. And I'm going to look back. 90 days into the past. This is the period where I want to compare the forecast from Aries, or if I made the forecast in Harmony, 
against the actual well performance that I've imported. Okay, so we get some results. The results we're seeing here are shown in the form of a cumulative gas difference between the actual well performance and our forecast. Uh, the other result we get is a percentage. How close was our forecast to the actual well performance over the last 90 days? So I'm going to go down and look at a well, just to illustrate what this means, that's close to 100%, well 36 so if we look at this particular well's forecast, we see that we've got our areas decline that we imported here. And when I look at the, when our forecast was applied, which is three months ago, the new data that's come in is tracking our forecast very well. That's why there's almost 100% match with our results under monitor. Uh, in comparison, let's look at a well that has a uh, number that's lower for the percentage. So well, 31. Okay, so this well is clearly no longer following the forecast. And so this well is well below our forecast. And then we'll finally look at a well that is overperforming our forecast. Okay, look at this well, 58 maybe. Okay, so yeah, we see this well is overperforming. So can you imagine how long it would have taken to manually click through all of our wells and figure this out? We're able to use this monitoring solution to do this really quickly. Another thing that was interesting is you can very quickly sum this up. In my case, summing up all of our wells, my total cum that I'm off from, from my field is I'm missing my target or my forecast by 400 million cubic feet. And that's the cum that uh, I'm off in my forecast over the last three months. And that works out to about minus 1.1%. Uh, so again, something that would have taken a lot of time. The other thing we can do is start grouping these. So if I'm going to maybe take all my wells that are underperforming or maybe I have a threshold I want to, you know, keep it up. So any wells that are worse than 5% below the forecast. We can go and say that these are called my under formers. Okay, and we can make a subgroup just for uh, someone to review those later. We can make the same thing for a group of over performers. Uh, some other things we can do with these results. I love seeing visual maps. So uh, we have the option to take these results and view them on the GIS map. So uh, one of the bubble maps I've set up here is showing that percentage. So in this case, red wells mean they're underperforming for the last quarter compared to my forecast, and green wells mean they're overperforming. I've set the size of the bubble to reflect the number. So um, this is one way to view the results. Another is to take the cum that they're off by to our forecast. And so in this case, uh, this well here is underperforming quite a bit. So I can go check it out and see, yep, okay. It's, it's missing the decline. And then this uh, blue well is overperforming. So we can go check that out and see that as well. So again, making our life a lot easier when it comes to preparing for our weekly well performance meetings or doing our uh, reserves update to see, to see which wells are not tracking along. So two of the most uh, frequently asked questions we get about this monitoring solution are, does this work with RTA? The answer is yes. So the forecast can come from either a decline or from an RTA reservoir model. And you can use either of those forecasts uh, with this monitoring solution. The other question, is this free? Well, yeah, if you have Harmony Enterprise, the, this is free for now. We're looking for your feedback about what would make this monitoring solution even more valuable for you. So it might become its own module within Harmony later, just depending on how much more development we can put into it. So uh, it is the 2019.1 version of Harmony Enterprise, which came out in March, that this monitoring solution is available in. So ultimately, what does this monitoring 
solution mean for you? Really, it's all about saving time. I know people are manually doing what I showed you today, either scrolling through one well at a time to inspect them, or you've made some sort of spreadsheet which you have to copy and paste data back and forth to. Harmony, we, we, we try to take feedback we get from customers to solve problems, and this is, was, a, was a big one for people wasting time trying to find these deviations. So really, saving time is what this means for you. The second thing is, if you are committed to Aries for your reserve software, no problem. I just showed you how you can take all your Aries declines in a Harmony Enterprise, do this monitoring task, and then get back out to Aries to do your reserves. And that's it. I want to thank you for your time. For any questions, please be sure to contact me and subscribe to be notified of next week's Did You Know episode.